All right, question number five. This is a cross-text connection, so it's like a paired question. So how would Focarelli and Panetta respond to Fan's findings? What would, pass, what would text two think about text one, basically, is what they're asking us. So let's have a look. Text one is saying, when companies in the same industry propose merging, so coming together with each other, uh, they often say that the merger is going to benefit consumers, so that would be a good thing by making the company more efficient, more work better and work more quickly or effectively, and therefore lowering prices. Okay, that's definitely positive because if companies merge, the, the you know, stuff will be cheaper of their services or goods. So ec economist Ying Fan investigated this idea uh, in the context of the newspaper market, and she modeled a hypothetical merger, an imaginary joining of these newspapers in Minneapolis that she found, uh-oh, actually subscription prices would rise. That's completely the opposite of what they had predicted. Okay, so basically the idea in passage text one is that the merger is not going to be good. The merger is going to cause prices to rise. Hopefully that's what you read too. Text two is saying economists Dario Focarelli and Fabio Panetta have argued that research on the effect of mergers on prices has focused only on the short-term effects, which tend to have adverse effects, which is like kind of bad effects for consumers. So using the case of this consumer banking in Italy, they show that in the long term, actually efficiency gains by these merged companies do result in economic benefits. So I guess passage two is saying there are economic financial benefits. So now we have a rough answer. Passage two is going to look at passage one and say, no, there's not going to be rise of subscription prices, or there, there may be in the short term, but in the long term, there's going to be some economic benefits. Keep that in your head. Go to the answer choices. Let's have a look. 5A, would Focarelli and Panetta say that in the long term, the expenses inc incurred, the expenses that you get from the newspaper company would also increase, increases the opposite we're looking for, they would decrease. So I'm gonna kill A from the word, from the word increase. Uh, B now, they would recommend, I don't think recommend is gonna be supportable, I'm gonna probably cross that out right now, that fan compare the near-term effect with the effect of a merger in another market. This seems quite irrelevant, I don't, I didn't read anything. And basically, that's the idea. If it's not in the text, it's wrong. You have to literally point to support. You can't infer anything. If you ever have to say therefore or maybe or this because this, it's going to be wrong. So I'm going to kill this choice. I have to literally put my finger on the word in the text in order to be able to support it. C, they would encourage Fan to investigate whether the effect persists over an extended period. Well, extended period matches uh, long term. So I think that's a good choice. I'm going to keep that choice. And D, they would claim that mergers have a different effect on prices uh, in newspapers than in other industries. We didn't read about other industries. Therefore, <laughs> what can we do with that choice? We could kill it right now. It has nothing to support it, so it's gone. Therefore, our answer, final answer, is C. And we could be so confident about choosing an answer, even if we're not sure about that, what that answer is saying, but because we've killed three other wrong answers, that one has to be the answer, if we have, of course, killed correctly.